Shinawi. Alhamdulillah. Welcome back uh, to uh, Ego <coughs> from Tuba. Thank you for watching. And also happy September 21st. We having our guest day, our Sheikh as well. Taking my time also. Uh, wishing long life to uh, Sheikh uh, Sidi al -Mukhtar. May Allah give him a long life of help and also achieve all the, uh, the works he's doing for the community. And also to my Sheikh. Sheikh Muhammad Al Murtada of Sheikh Abdul Ahad, mm -hmm. and also a Sheikh of mine and a confident again and a friend of mine, Sheikh Muhammad Mustafa of Sheikh Mudu Fatih Hari uh, Baki. We were talking about again is is uh, of the miracle of the praying of the water. Mm -hmm. We should consider it as a miracle because if you that if you're not doing much for Allah, He's not going to stand like Absolutely. He did for uh, His Abd That's over it. there on the on, on on the ocean. And right now, I mean, considering. The amount of knowledge the Sheikh poured in this country in terms of his writing and also uh, the <coughs> righteousness of Nadi over his own person, but his children, his sons, his uh, great sons like uh, many of, of you, and seeing what happened on the spotlight, uh, isn't that a contradiction? Of, uh, of, 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 of this time right now, what happening and people claiming many things that are really uh, not easy to, to believe or to understand as a great son of Shah al Khadim, what well, you would uh, say on, uh, on, that, on that particular thing? Well, there, there, needs, there needs to be order. Mm. Now, what happens is that um, it seems that uh, we have gone off course mm. and we need to be brought back mm. how mm. how do we do it mm. starting in Tuba and in Senegal in general mm. when you say Tuba you can say anywhere there is a daira mm. you know um, the Sheikh is a grace mm. of course it, well, that's, that go goes without saying mm. he's a grace and He's a grace f selected from the purest graces. Mm. 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 That, that's what he said. Mm. So therefore, those who come to the to, to this path, mm. which is Islam, mm. and adhere to it, mm. and and have someone as a sheikh, mm. uh, which is cus customary, mm. right. should be taught mm. what is tawhid, what is fiqh, mm. what is tasawwuf. Mm. You cannot go around these three things. Mm. The Sheikh is the ultimate savior, mm. savior, mm. I say. Mm. And, and when you look at based on the Qasida, right. you can have your proof and mm. argument that he said he is mm. the savior. Right. Whether you believe it or not, that's what Allah has, 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 done. has done. Right. So then we need to remind people. Mm of what happened during these hard times, during Absolutely. these harsh times. Absolutely. What he endured in St. Louis, Senegal, mm -hmm. what he endured, endured in those three days in the Dakar here. Mm -hmm. So then, if you separate, I know I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm talking ahead of this, but if you, if you separate church and state, mm -hmm. so to speak, church mm -hmm. and state, and state right. then you have a problem. Mm -hmm. In of Maida, Uman lam yahkum bandha lafu lakum kafirun fasiqun Right, right, right. Anyone who does not conform himself to these laws, to this mm. divine law, mm. is one of those three. Right. Mm. So how do you conform yourself? Mm. Men, human, humans legislate. Mm. And we, have a, or we, ha we already have a legislation mm. based on which we cannot go wrong. Mm. A legislation mm. is either Allah's law mm. or human's human law. law. Right. We know that we are imperfect, mm. we are mortal, mm. we die, we get sick, mm. etc., etc. Mm. So then, uh, uh, to get back to your to, to your question, right. um, we are, we are we, we are going all over the place. Mm. Some of us, mm. they are not really focusing on the essential mm. globalization. Okay, they want to globalize government. Mm. They want to globalize religion. Mm. They want to globalize law. Mm. What do you mean by the essential? Uh, that is essential. That's what I'm talking about. Right, right. Uh, do we understand as as a as a people mm. who believes in the Quran, mm. the Sunnah, and Khadim Rasul? Allah Akbar. Do we understand what that means and what should those ramifications be once you have come to to embrace the three components? Mm. Do we understand it? Understanding is everything. Mm. 
you don't understand, then uh, you can do anything. Mm. That's what I see. Abdullah, I see Abdullah was saying when you say Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He says you engage. Yeah. And when you engage, you can right. turn back. You have written a contract. You have written a contract with uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you do something other than what that contract says, mm. you have revoked your contract. Mm. Is it the reason why you created a political party, Nasr? As, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we are. I am in Senegal, mm. son of Senegal, right. who have been uh, overseas for uh, 30 years. Mm. I am not at all content with or satisfied with. Mm or how my country is run. Mm. Particularly if you start to want to subtly mm. destroy mm. the ground on which I stand, and that is the Quran. Mm. Allah. You have human laws here, mm. imported from France. Right. <laughs> and we still go by those laws. Right, right. So of course, uh, the chef- There's a resounding yes on the referendum without, for instance, many people even understanding, understanding. Thank uh, you. what happened, what's going to be uh, the impact of those laws uh, in society and in religion. Your so-called constitution. Right, right. Has it been written in Wolof? Mm, recently, I heard it's been translated, but not the original in Wolof. The constitution of Senegal, mm. as we know it today, mm. is not written in any local language, period. No kidding. Okay. Mm. Now, from this day on September 21st, 2016, mm. they can start thinking about mm. or engaging, I don't know, one of those professors right. and writing in the water so mm. that at least you, her, him understand what is being, what is being proposed to us mm -hmm. and do we agree to this proposition? That's right. Because it is, a value pro it is supposed to be a value proposition, mm. how you should run your life. Right. Mm. Now, somebody's saying, this is how you should run your life, and the Quran is saying, this is how you should run your life. Right. Which one do you choose? Well. Somebody who has caused you to born mm. and will, die, will cause you to die, to die absolutely. has told you, mm. has told you repeatedly and given you pre pre warn of grace, you, right. warn you that this is how you should mm. live. Mm. My problem, though, with the, uh, uh, that message and also uh, uh, whoever bears the, uh, the responsibility of waking up people is like the message of political message in terms of, uh, you know, how we're going to do f with government is, is kind of put up front instead of, uh, you know, waking up, uh, you know, the grassroots, I mean, inside the community of uh, the Murid community itself. There's a lot of stuff that has really been happening, like I said recently, and then I, I don't see so much action, actions of political, I mean, religious political people coming out you know, and, and really standing up strongly uh, on, on Sheikh Ahmed Bamba's position and explaining what he was like, you're doing right now. I don't see <coughs> that work really coming from, uh, uh, the, the, you know, I mean, inside the, the community, uh, if, uh, you know, mentioning also some sheikhs also. Well, uh, you know, um, each one has a responsibility mm -hmm. to assume. And we have a collective responsibility. Absolutely. Are we aware of that collective responsibility? It is Zuriyat and Tayyibat and Tujadidu. Najjad and Musawat Tayyibat. Absolutely. So therefore, those descendants mm. bear the, the responsibility mm. to uphold the truth at any cost, mm. any time, mm. anywhere. Mm. We're not doing it. That's the bottom line. Right. We, we are very satisfied do, with people. Do you have any hope there that things will change in terms of really uh, inspiring the people? Uh, uh, you know, taking the it, right is direction? It, it is incumbent upon you, right. upon your Sheikh Sheikh Ahmad Murtada, mm. upon his brothers, my but cousins. My Sheikh is doing very well, though. In Absolutely. Terms of, I mean, uh, his behavior, the Absolutely. way he shows people where to stand, really looking up to that person. Uh, but, but you know, Alhamdulillah. no matter what he does, mm. and, and no matter how many efforts he, he will deploy, right. At the same time, we'll come to having a shock mm. against the system mm. that is here. Mm. And this, this, this brings us back to Nasr. Right, right, right. There's a shock. Everybody knows the way he's... The shock of uh, civilization that Samuel Huntington talked about mm. in the 1960s mm. <laughs> is materialized on September the 11th. Mm. Right? Mm. We're talking about the shock of civilizations. Right, right, right. What is a civilization? Mm. You have the Western civilization mm. and the Orient civilization. Mm. So this is a matter of notion, the concept of belief, mm. belief system. Mm. 
this is this is this is a very on a macro level mm. this is what i'm talking about absolutely but <coughs> it comes to your room mm. uh, when they uh, make a, a, a movie in hollywood mm. they show it here on tv mm. your children are going to watch it absolutely right mm. so then they will they, they, they will they will they will say you know this is part of how we're supposed to live mm. now the system allows it mm. do you know that based on this referendum you just talked about mm. if you have an 18 year old girl and mm. i hope she's not listening <laughs> if that happens to be there mm. you will no longer have right over her oh boy after 18 years you're finished mm. this is what your constitution voted recently voted for oh. so then mm. you have the law mm. do you uphold the law mm. Unbelievable. So thanks, Sheikh Murtala. <coughs> uh, uh, Sheikh Abdullah, who stood up with a very yes, resounding absolutely, no. Absolutely. And, and, Sheikh and, Sheikh and I did Hanin too. Said no, and you did too as and well. I did say no. Uh, and I will continue to say no. Coming back to the room of 21st <coughs> September, because mm -hmm. archives are really a problem. It's, it's hard, had, very hard to get <coughs> any archives. Is it? Is it any like Gabon? I haven't heard anything uh, archive from Gabon uh, for Sheikh Al Khadim or you know the, the the trajectory, the maritime odyssey. Is it? Is it any archive hidden somewhere, or is it anything can be done through government or through other means in order to really? Because we need to know the truth even though we know uh, some of what happened through the Sheikh's writing but uh, archives this is not a problem there. Uh, this is this is the this is the this is it right this is about the archives that needs to be released mm. I went to Gabon mm. during my research mm. when I was preparing the the trilateral right and then I turned that into the maritime odyssey mm. when I went to Gabon uh, there was nothing available in any center of documentation in Gabon. Mm -hmm. I even went to the Catholic Church. Mm. They, they refused to talk to us anyway. Yes. In Gabon? In Gabon. But Sheikh Mustafa Lou, may Allah have mercy on his soul, told me that Amen. it was in 1929 mm. that France removed all archives pertaining to the Sheikh from Gabon to France. 29? 1929. Oh. Now, at one point, are we going to declare this, uh, that sh this should be made available to the public? And you know, it's funny that today we talk about democracy, we talk mm. about freedom of speech, and mm. this and that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> declarations of human rights, when mm. they were talking about freedom, mm. you and I were not concerned about freedom. Mm, absolutely not. Not the blacks. Mm. We, we were not part of the mm. system. Of the, sm or the, the, the community already. Thank you. Yeah, all right. So then all these intellectuals talking about uh, human declaration of human rights, y you know, mm. something is fundamentally wrong absolutely. in this country. Mm. The debate is not where it is supposed to, to be. be. Absolutely. Now they impose you a debate. Mm. They talk about setting you know, mm. uh, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. See, this is to make you forget mm. what's supposed to be debated. Mm. Those were written before you had independence. I mean, before the Sheikh was exiled Allah and was subject to persecution. I think you have a mission there, Sheikh. Mm. Uh, mm. You have a mission there. Uh, we have, we have, we a, have mission. a mission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm behind you. I mean, you're my Sheikh. Yes. yes and and then also uh, because of today, looking at the geopolitical situation in, in, in the turmoil around the globe, uh, what's your message to the rest of the world? Well, uh, we have... Uh, <laughs> it's very complex. It is. It is very, mm. very complex. Mm. Now, we have 1.2 billion Muslims, mm. approximately. Mm. Ninety some percent of whom are non-Arabs. Mm. Listen to be very careful. Right. Uh, the rest Arabs. Mm. Ninety percent of the turmoil is found in Arab countries, most of the time. Mm. Where? In areas where you have oil and gas and traffic of mm. oil and gas and arms. Mm. Okay? Right. But at the same time, when they talk about Islamic fundamentalism, mm. have you heard of Jewish fundamentalism? Not yet. Have you heard of Catholic fundamentalism? Not that I know of. Okay. Mm. So then uh, we should think about why that term. Mm or when they use the word jihad, mm. jihadism. And who's bringing those terms? Thank you. Mm. And who's picking it up right. and perpetrating mm. it? The Shia said, right. We're talking about the inner cities in the United States and elsewhere. Right. We should teach this, mm. that the Shia said, I'm engaging 
in a war Knowledge. against ignorance. Absolutely. Mm. This word ignorance. Mm. All, all, some, all areas mm. at, the, at the disposal of knowledge mm. should be explored. Right, right. This is what the Sheikh is talking mm -hmm. about. And, and unfortunately, the Muslims are not paying heed. Mm. Now, geopolitically speaking, mm. you have two forces, mm. or three. Mm. Well, four. Right. Let's put it four. Mm -hmm. In the Muslim world, you have Saudi Arabia and you have Iran. Mm. That's a given. Right. You can't go about it. Right. You have a turmoil mm. in an area where Somebody supporting someone, the other is supporting somebody else. Mm. In the midst of those, you have the United States mm. and the Allies mm. supporting, trying to balance. So it out. is a very, very complex world. Now, mm. it is globalized. Mm. Now, you are causing somebody in the process of saying the Quran is 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 you know. Uh, 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 is a, is a fundamentalist book. Mm. It's, it's picked up by those, uh, and when they always talk about Sharia law mm. as if Sharia is a an evil thing. Right. It is le jurisprudence. Mm. So who's draining Islam in the mud over there? Why is it always neg they negatively talk about Islam? Is it as, as a particular group, or is it just like you say, geopolitically, uh, certain countries that uh, don't want you know Islam to have any well, any, it, any, it, any nice face or it, something? Yes, uh, that's what you were saying um, mm. about Islam. I'm not having a, a nice face because mm. uh, researchers mm. have shown and determined that in the next 50 years Islam will predominate mm. over the other religion as right. far as faith is concerned. Mm. So somebody's cl climbing higher, mm. somebody's descending right. lower. Right. So mm. this causes some antagonism. But what is the, I don't see like, like, like maybe a community with a religious belief being behind this motivation. What, who's, I mean, if, if that was like other groups, like religious, I would understand that. But it's not people, non-believers most of the time who are really uh, against uh, Islam. How are we going to explain that? Well, you have an international Western power structure, mm. an international t telecommunication system. Okay. The mainstream media, mm. and then you have an alternative, mm. which ju we just don't go along with whatever you say on right. CNN. Right. No, I, I think mm. I am thinking about what you're saying to right. me, right. and you cannot make me go along with the program. Mm. No, mm. I refuse to do that because right. I'm thinking mm. I'm a human being, right. graced by God with intellect and a thinking process, process and ability. Right. 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 So I'm thinking about what you're saying to me, mm. and and m unfortunately, most of us. Mm don't think that way, don't have this critical thinking. Mm. That's sad. You know, there's a great politician mm. who was a national security advisor to, to Jimmy Carter, mm. I think, uh, in, uh, Reagan rather, mm. the name is Zbigniew Brzezinski. Mm. He said, he wrote a book called America's Vision, mm. America's Strategic Vision mm. on, for the 21st Century. Mm. Go, go and try to read okay, that. Uh, I will do that. You, you see Before the end of the program, because we just have about four or five minutes, and uh, speaking right. of geopolitical uh, situation, mm -hmm. uh, the election in America is coming soon in November, and right now Democrats with Hillary and, uh, you know, uh, Republicans, right wings with uh, uh, Donald Trump, and uh, they, it's dead hate in terms of uh, uh, the polls right now. What do you, I mean, and, and seeing also the role America plays around the world in being the, the economic power and the military one, what is it uh, your feeling since you live in the United States? Wh who's coming up uh, to win those elections? Well, you know, it, it's interesting. It's a very, it's a very interesting question, mm. and it needs an hour because guess right. what? Mm. Donald Trump didn't go there on his own. Mm. People voted for him mm. against sixteen other candidates, mm -hmm. very valuable candidates. Right, Ted Cruz. Um, so that's Jeb the Bush. people's that's voice. Thank you. Mm. What do they say? The government of for and by the people. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. You take out America, then you go to Australia, mm -hmm. in Europe, mm -hmm. in many countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, fundamentalism mm -hmm. is rising up on their side. Mm -hmm. Not Islam fundamentalism, but racial fundamentalism right. is rising up on many, in many countries in Europe. Mm -hmm. Now they're talking about uh, immigration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Uh, you came here, took uh, everything we have in right. terms of natural resources, oils and minerals, and now you're talking about immigration. Mm -hmm.
See, uh, this needs to be debated. Right, I think. right. This needs uh, to be debated. It's sad that our right, time well. is almost. Uh, you, are you getting ready for the election? Yes, sir. On the, on the with your party? With my party. Oh, okay. Uh, we hope that everybody will vote for the Nasser list mm. in the Congress race in. 2017 around May or so. Oh, well, we just said around the table, they're going to have a, a good reason to do so, helping yourself before you really uh, do help others. Yes, uh, thanks, Musafa, thank for you. coming. And you're going to be coming back, That's inshallah. Yes, sir. Thank and you, and thank you for all our viewers watching here on uh, Lamfal TV. To my family in, in Tuba, to my family here in Dakar, to everybody watching. Until next <laughs> time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Le programme suivant sera en anglais.